My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And we're also giving away $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets, signs up with one of our five betting partners and makes a deposit, will get $50 from us. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it. And this is brought to you by EarnU.io. EarnU.io is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk free. Check it out now at EarnU.io. Next up at UFC Vegas 54, we have the main event of the evening. We have Jan Blahovich taking on Alexander Rachik. Jan Blahovich 28 and 9 overall, 4 and 1 in his last five. And he's coming off that lone loss to Glover to share where he lost his belt. Alexander Rachik, 14 and two overall, four and one in his last five, making his return after a year away from the cage. And Jan Blahovich, he's the former light heavyweight champion of the world. And he just lost his belt to Glover to share back in October. Uh, Jan is a striker who hits incredibly hard and has solid wrestling. And we don't see the wrestling often, but we did see it on display when he beat Izzy with three takedowns. He's a well-rounded guy with a world of experience. He's 11 and six in the UFC with wins over Jared Cannonier, Jacare Souza, Luke Rockhold, and Israel Adesanya. Alexander Rasik is a dynamic striker who uses his length and reach to out technique and out decision his opponents. He mixes in kicks really well and has no issues transitioning from leg kicks two head kicks while moving forward. While he does have power, he likes to fight on the outside and not necessarily look for a brawl. Because of this, his strike numbers are really high, but his significant strike numbers are low. It's a lot of jabs. So for example, he landed 141 strikes against Anthony Smith, but only 44 of them were significant. So it was a ton of jabs, ton of little small touch-ups. He is coming off a dis Decision win over Tiago Santos, which could arguably have gone the other way. But overall, Rachik is a well-rounded guy with striking as a base and wrestling if he needs it. And I mentioned all of the wins that Jan has, but if you noticed, every single one of them were middleweights. And he has cl clear power advantages over those middleweights. And, you know, he's fighting another big light heavyweight and Glover... When Glover beat him, you'll see on the list, oh, submission, Glover is a jiu-jitsu guy. Glover dropped him with a punch and then worked in the grappling. And Rasik, not, he does have power. He doesn't go to it very often, but this is a hard fight to call. I do think Jan has some good fights left in him. I mean, if he beat Glover, he's the light heavyweight champion of the world. You know what I mean? And obviously that's a stupid analogy, but you know, he, he's one fight removed from being the best light heavyweight the UFC has. And I think Rachik is the more dynamic fighter. He does have, you know, the, the same, he does not have the same level of one punch knockout power, but he's got tremendous takedown defense at 90%. He's got solid versatility in the striking. He's long. He uses that really well. Uh, I think Rachik is more technical, more dynamic. He's going to have to worry about the power big time, but I think Rachik can get this done. And I think he's going to use, or at least I hope he uses kicks to keep the distance, stay away from that Jan power. But I do like Rachik to win here, but honestly, that I'm not very confident. And if Jan Blahovich goes out there, punches his teeth in, well, the dude is one fight removed from world champion. So yeah, that, that's what happens. So what do you think? Uh, I assume those DraftKings uh, amounts were flip-flopped on there because you had... They uh, sure yeah, were. With, uh, they oh, sure Joey T! Were. It's been a great show, but pricing is backwards, Uncle Angelo, for the main event. Yes, yeah, stupid. Why don't you fix that? <laughs> Thank you Listen, very much, Joe. Thank you very much. Very he donated. He, he donated just to he, call your ass out. Just to fix that. it. Yeah, my bad, guys. My bad. A mid move. Yeah. So, yeah. So Al Alexander, I think, is the play for this fight. He is the more technical, the probably the overall better fighter, the more dynamic, as you mentioned. But this just kind of feels like a trap, man. Jan Blahovich was the favorite. He was the champion and the favorite to beat Glover loses and all of a sudden he's an underdog versus a contender it's 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 kind of surprising how fast people stop believing in somebody that was the champion defended the belt and then lost to a to a very good uh, opponent now he's an underdog versus a rocket which seems kind of crazy to me 
I was Rocket all the way. I, I mentioned to you earlier that 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 Izzy fight to me was I, I rewatched it. A lot of people think that Jan just like beat the crap out of out of Izzy that entire fight. That was a close fight. To where after I rewatched it, I was like, oh my god, like are, were these scorecards correct? You know, he did get the takedowns, but Izzy was able to defend some of the takedowns. So I watched that 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 fight in that film, and I thought, oh, Rocket has this fight 100. percent But it just feels like a trap to me. Something about this feels like a trap that. Once we watch this fight, we're gonna watch it and be like, "Oh, of course, Jan. Like, why wouldn't? Why did we pick against Jan? Of course, he would. He's gonna use the wrestling, dominate the fight the way that 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 Jan has shown that he can do before. Dominic Reyes, uh, Izzy, the same way. I'm going Jan. My everything is telling me Rocket. That has <laughs> my mind has led me astray the past couple cards, especially last week. <laughs> so whatever my mind says, I'm going opposite for the main event. I'm going Jan with the big KO, the Polish power, gets it done. You're George Costanza. You don't watch Seinfeld, but there's a whole episode where George just questions his entire life and all his instincts. So he just does the opposite, and the opposite works. His life improves dramatically. So, yeah, start making some better life choices. People, and- are, just do- people are just donating just to make fun of you, and I love it. We need to do a, we, one one stream one live stream. We need to do a talk to text to where they donate and then it says it out loud. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, we it's can't. So funny. You don't want to hear these people voices. I bet Jester's a seventeen. No, kid. no, it doesn't. No, it's a robot. Says it. It's a oh. talk to text. Come on. And no man. offense, Jester. Thank you very much. I am like, mid move. It would say I Angelo. I mid move. Two months later, like it's a well, talk to text. I will have a new backdrop next video because I'm out of here. You know, we're split here. I totally understand. I totally understand, you know, Jan and Jan winning. But the reality is all of his good wins are over middleweights. And then uh, Dominic Reyes, who is just not very good. So I I do think Jan, uh, the stars aligned for him on his title run. I think Rejcik is a legitimate contender. He's very good. I wish he had a little more power. Through a little more, you know, a little more firm with his strikes when he throws them out there. But, you know, I, I like a li- <laughs> I like Rachik to win. Um, oh, yeah. Not the most confident pick in the world, but mostly because Jan is, you know, literally one fight removed from the world championship. Do you like Jan enough to spend the seventy five hundred dollars in DraftKings? Yeah, he's probably gonna be in my lineup. I, I think he finds a finish. Yeah, I mean, if he wins, yeah, that that is that it will be how he does it, but. Keep in mind, Rachik has a 90% takedown defense. So settle down with the takedowns there. Ooh. Ooh. This Ooh, is a five round. This is a five round fight. Rachik does not necessarily have that one punch power. He doesn't go to it very often. So I really like the monkey knife fight more, more play here. What do you think? I agree. All right. Well, super helpful yet again. Guys, you want to do that monkey knife fight strike line? You go to wewantpicks.com slash MKF. You sign up. You make a deposit. They instantly match your deposit. And then you do more more in a line, more or less, whatever you want to do. And if you're right, you can triple your money depending on the circumstances. You can put them all together and 25 times your money. Wewantpicks.com slash MKF. And if you want 50 bucks from me to you, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, 50 bucks, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our six Betting partners, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you. And guys, do not forget, do not forget, we're giving you $100. If you can pick a perfect card at wewantpicks.com slash vote, it costs you nothing. You don't need to be a member. There's no qualifier. There's no disclaimer. Wewantpicks.com slash vote. Vote for who you think wins. And if you pick a perfect card, we send you $100 as a congratulations because that's a tremendous feat. We only have 11 fights on this card. This might be the card where you could actually pull that off. Jakey oh, I'm Boy, any... I'm going 11 to 0. Uh, I'm not paying you. I, this if is... you get it, you're not getting paid. When I get it, it's, uh, it's the, a, well, easy, the one disclaimer easy, is you can't work here. Same, Josh, you don't qualify. I quit. Either. Okay, I quit. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll quit. I'll quit. And that $100 is more than I've made in the last six months. You know? 